This video will explain how pass scores are determined for the copper entry to practice examinations. Copper has several exams per year. Each exam is different with its own set of questions. Because the questions on each examination vary, Copper uses two different well-established and widely used approaches in professional testing to set pass scores. One, the Angoff method, and two, statistical equating. These are complex terms that we will do our best to describe. The Angoff method, a group of EMR or paramedic experts from across the country and areas of practice are brought together to review what defines minimal competence in a new EMR or paramedic and determine what score on the exam would a minimally competent test taker be most likely to obtain. This is done by reviewing each question. This work is guided by a person who is a PhD and considered an expert in testing. This person is called a psychometrician. The group reviews each question on a specific exam to determine what percentage of minimally competent EMR or paramedic candidates would answer the question correctly. If group members disagree, the psychometrician may present data on how the question has performed on past examinations. By reviewing how many times previous candidates answered the question correctly or incorrectly to guide the discussion, this exam is then called the baseline exam, and it contains what we call baseline questions. Future exam questions are compared to the baseline exam questions to determine how difficult or less difficult each examination is. Statistical equating is a process that allows scores from different examinations to be interpreted as equivalent, even though one exam can be more or less difficult than another. For example, a 70% pass score on exam A does not indicate the same level of competence as a 70% pass score on exam B because the questions on the two exams are different with varying difficulty. With statistical equating, psychometricians, who are Copper's contracted testing experts, make judgments about the change of difficulty between two different exams and adjust the examination score accordingly. If the exam scores were lower on exam A than exam B, it could be for several reasons. One, the questions on exam A were more difficult. Two, the candidates who wrote exam A were less prepared or less competent. Or three, a combination of more difficult questions and less prepared candidates. Adjustments to exam scores are based only on the difficulty of the questions not on the strength of the candidates. This is where the baseline examination questions created through the Angoff method come in. Each examination has a set number of questions that were also on the baseline exam, with the remainder of the questions being unique or different to that exam. Psychometricians look at the baseline questions, which are exactly the same on the two exams, to determine the difference in candidate competence. Let's use an example where we have two exams, exam A and exam B. On both exams, there are two sets of questions, common questions, which are the same on both exams, and unique questions, which differ between exams. Let's first look at the performance of a candidate on the unique questions. In our example, we see that the candidates who took exam A had an average performance of 75% on the unique questions, while the candidates who took exam B had an average performance of 80% on their unique questions. So, if we were to just look at the unique questions, we might conclude that the candidates who wrote exam B are better than those who wrote exam A. But is that true? The psychometricians, Copper's contracted testing experts, look at how candidates performed on the common questions. In our example, we can see that both groups had the same average on these. This indicates that candidates who wrote exam A and candidates who wrote exam B are equally strong, since they both got an average of 74% on the common questions. Since both groups of candidates are equally strong, why did the group who took exam B do better on the unique questions? It is because the set of unique questions on exam B were easier than the set of unique questions on exam A. It would not be fair for the pass mark to remain the same since exam B is easier than exam A. So psychometricians adjust the pass mark. 
In this example, they would bump up the pass mark by 5% for exam B so that it is representative of the same competence level. This means that a pass mark of 65% on exam A would represent the same level of competence as a pass mark of 70% on exam B. This is how Copper uses the Angoff method and statistical equating to set examination pass scores.